that he have done so long in the world that he gave us his son who yielded his life in atonement for sin and opened up the life gate amen that all may go in again we thank god for having buffalo amen in our midst just also want to mention thank god for rochester amen coming down on wednesday night and thursday night amen we thank god for this little fellowship that we was able to have that god was able to bring it to pass and we just want to take our time amen to say thank you to bishop phillips amen and those that came down from rochester but we're happy today amen to have elder anthony griffin amen the one that is there in buffalo working with his pastor bishop e.h hill amen the president of the true apostolic churches of jesus christ amen so we're grateful today to have elder in our midst praise the lord and i told elder he's at home amen so when you're home you can relax amen you can get comfortable praise the lord and just let the will of the lord be done praise the lord and i thank god for elder he's a man that loves god's word praise the lord and you're talking about getting it deep down in your members praise the lord he's just one of those that have it deep down in his members praise the lord he loved that word he's always been like that love god's word Amen, and I thank God, amen, for that desire that he had for the word of God. So, amen, we're going to let Ella loose, <laughs> praise the Lord, and he would give us what does said the Lord, praise the Lord, because it's good to be able to sit down today, amen, and get catch a little break, praise the Lord. Ella know what I'm talking about, <laughs> praise the Lord, it's good sometimes when you get somebody to kind of, you know, give you a little relief. Praise the Lord, and I'm glad today that I can sit down, amen, and the Lord can use someone else, and I can hear what the Lord has to say to me. Praise the Lord. So at this time, amen, we're going to introduce to you that know him, to you that don't know him, Elder Anthony Griffin, amen, from the church there in Buffalo, 1980 Bailey Avenue, amen, who will bring forth the word of God for such times like these. So at this time, Elder... Amen. We turn the service into the hands of the elder. Amen. For today, and most of all, that the Holy Ghost will take full control Amen. and glorify the Son of God in Jesus' name. So at this time, elder, you have the pulpit, sir. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Bishop. Can we say praise the Lord, saints? Can we say praise the Lord? Can we say praise the Lord? We praise the Lord. Father, the creator of heaven and earth and all things therein, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Savior of our soul, our pastor, Bishop E.H. Hill, we thank God for him, his companion, we give honor to Bishop Gentile here this morning, we give honor to the deacons, and we give honor to you, saints, family, and friends. Let us say amen. 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 Y'all wondering why y'all are looking at smiling. So, huh? <laughs> it's just because it's good to be here. Yes. And we're glad to be here. Yes. Some of you, we haven't seen your faces in over three years. Yes. And maybe a little longer. Amen. And it's just a blessing to yes. know that you are yet holding on. Right. That you are yet trusting in the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ. That you are yet believing the word of God knowing that one day Jesus is going to return and you're going to see his face in peace. We believe that this morning. Amen. Because God cannot lie. Somebody say amen. 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 I want you to turn with me in the Bible to uh, the book of Matthew. Now Bishop say I can take my time and have the floor, so we don't have the floor this morning. Sister Jermaine said, don't get up there. <laughs> and 
and, and start to uh, uh, teaching and, and carrying on. I said, yes, I'm going to let the Lord have his way. Amen. 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 However the Lord do this, yes, because we've been doing this a long time, and I'm grateful to the Lord, and the bishop knows preaching is not easy, saints. You need the Lord to lead you. Man can't do it. We need help from the Lord. Yeah. And I had been, when Bishop had called me, I had been seeking the Lord for his word. Lord, what can I give to your people? What can I share with them that you have shared with me? And so in the book of Matthew chapter 22, that's where we will begin this morning. And I'm going to start this way and say to you, what do you think about Jesus? All right. Huh? Yes, sir. What do you think about Jesus? He's all right. What do you think about Jesus? He's all right. What do you think about Jesus? He's all right. He's all right. I want you to see what Jesus said. We hear that often. That question is asked us. What do you think about Jesus? And the response is, he's all right. Mm -hmm. Well, in this 22nd chapter of the book of Matthew, yes. while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They said unto him, the son of David. He said unto them, How then doth David in the spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. Went on to say, If David then call him Lord, how then is he his son? I want you to understand no man was able to answer him a word. And neither did they ask him any more questions from there forward. Yes. But the question needs to be answered. Amen? Amen. If David called him Lord, and he's speaking about King David, the Lord Jesus is, if he called him Lord, how is he his son? And every one of us should know the answer. We've been preaching and teaching this for years. Yeah. You find the answer in 2 Samuel chapter 7. Yeah. There in, I believe, around verse 12, the Lord said to David, because David had the desire to build God and house. Yes. The Lord said, uh, uh, I'm going to tell David what I'm going to do. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, he said, and when thy days be fulfilled, this is Nathan speaking to David. He said, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers. Uh, he said, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels. And I will establish his kingdom. He went on to say, he shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. And in verse 14, he said, I will be his father, and he shall be my son. Somebody say amen. amen. You see, that question is answered. But the Pharisees should have known the answer to that question. So when someone asks you, what do you think about Jesus? Uh, you ought to respond, he is the son of David, as well as the son of God. Somebody say amen. amen. But I want you to understand something about what God did with David. He made a covenant with David. He made a promise to King David concerning his seed. And that was seed that would proceed out of his own bowels. David would be dead, laying in the grave or his sepulcher. And I want you to understand, God would take his seed from him. And I want you to know, from down through 42 generations, he would preserve that seed. Yeah. Somebody say amen. Yes. Is that what we've been taught? Yes. Um, that, is that what we know? Yes. Is that what we understand? Yes. So therefore we know then how Jesus is the son of David. Somebody say amen. Yes. Thank you Lord. But I want 
to digress just a little bit uh, and take you back uh, for a minute. Uh, the covenant that God made with David was an everlasting covenant. It had no end to it. Uh, and I wanted you to notice in the word there, God said, I'm going to set up his throne uh, and his kingdom forever. So therefore then, Jesus must be a king. Say amen. Amen, amen Lord. He has to be king for God to set him up a throne and sit him there upon. But the word isn't done just yet. So let's take our time and back up a little bit. And I want to say this to you. Solomon, King Solomon is a type of Christ. All right. And let me say this to you as well. Just so I don't have to go back and get this. Jesus, Jesus Christ and King Solomon were brothers. Somebody say amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Come on now, y'all. Right, Jesus. Jesus. They were brothers. Blood brothers. They had different mothers, but yet they were brothers. Somebody say amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. So, hallelujah. I want you to see this. In John chapter 12. John, St. John chapter 12. And I'm sorry if it has to be a Bible study this morning. That's what it's speaking, but that's what it has to be. Because that's what God gave me. And St. John, in St. John chapter 12, thank you, Lord, uh, at verse 12, it said, On the next day, much people that were come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took branches of palms and, and went forth to meet him and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the who? King. king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. Uh, is he king? Yeah. Amen. And Jesus, when he had found a young ass, he set their own as it is written. He said, fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, thy king cometh uh, sitting on an ass, a coat. Uh, these things understood not his disciples at the first, but when Jesus was glorified, then remembered they that these things were written of him and they had done these things unto him. Somebody say amen. amen. Now I want you to see where did this come from? It came from the mouth of God as a promise. I need you to look with me in the book of Zechariah. Thank you Lord. Uh, Zechariah chapter 9. Thank you Lord. Uh, and the reason I'm giving you these scriptures is so you can write them down and go back and look for yourself. Thank you Lord. Uh, in Zechariah chapter 9 Nine, verse number 9. It says, Rejoice, O daughter of Zion. Re he says, Shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. He said, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee. He is just and having salvation, lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a coat, the foal of an ass. So God spoke through the mouth of Zechariah, the prophet, that Israel's king would come lowly. And you know what? We know that day and people call that day Palm Sunday. But that was the day God revealed their king unto them. Israel, hallelujah. The promise of David came forth through the mouth of Zechariah. And John sees this and he records it. His apostles wonder what meaneth all of this. Thank you, Lord. But a great event is taking place upon the earth. The king of Israel has arrived. Uh, the promise of God standing sure. Now I know somebody said hallelujah, but that's supposed to happen uh, way hallelujah after the tribulation period. Uh, but I say not so. God already set it up. Uh, and let me give you the type of it uh, in the book of 1 Kings. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, in 1 Kings chapter 1. Thank you, Lord. Um, there is all, It's already typed. Uh, in other words, a foreshadowing shadowing of what God said he would do. Thank you, Lord, uh, after the promise to David. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, look in the, uh, hallelujah, 1 Kings chapter 1. And I want you to look uh, at verse number 32. Uh, but before I get there, I got to tell you something that happened. Uh, and that was King Adonijah, hallelujah, had usurped David's throne. Uh, David was an old man then. His body could get no heat uh, and they were wondering, what are we going to do for him? Thank you, Lord. Uh, but his sons didn't care about their father. Uh, all 
way that Adonijah wanted was the throne of Israel. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, and so he set himself up. Hallelujah. Got his men to come. Uh, hallelujah. Made a great feast. Uh, called Joab, the captain of the host, to sit down with him. Uh, and I believe it might have been Abathur, the priest, uh, to anoint him. Uh, he did all these things. Uh, and he did it without David knowing it. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, and so once, uh, hallelujah, I believe Nathan found out uh, what uh, Adonijah was doing. He went uh, and told Bathsheba. Bathsheba, hallelujah, went and told David. Uh, and this is what David said uh, to them both. Uh, he said, listen, in verse 33, the king said unto them, take with you the servants of your Lord and call Solomon, my son, to ride upon my own mule. He said, bring him down to Gihon. And he said, let Zeta, the priest, and Nathan, the prophet, anoint him king uh, over Israel. And he said, and blow ye with the trumpet uh, and say, God save King Solomon. Then ye shall come up after him that he may come and set upon my throne. Uh, for he shall be king in my stead. Uh, and I have appointed him to be ruler over Israel. Uh, Y'all take notice of what happened. Uh, four things in there happened that God did. Uh, first, uh, uh, David did. Uh, he set Solomon upon his mule. Uh, then, hallelujah, hallelujah, he said, uh, anoint him king over Israel. Uh, and then, hallelujah, he said, set him upon my throne. Uh, and then he said, I'm going to appoint him king. Uh, the reason he had to appoint him king, and that's important, saints, uh, is because David was king. Is that right? Uh, so if he's already, you already got a king, uh, David had to appoint Solomon to be king. Thank you, Lord. Uh, but let me say this about the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, he rode up on the donkey lowly into Israel uh, or Jerusalem. Um, he was anointed. Uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The day before. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, Y'all paying attention? Thank you, Lord. Uh, look in the scriptures. Go back to chapter uh, 12 of the book of John. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, pay attention, saints. Uh, hallelujah. Because I want you to understand why you are praising the Lord Jesus. Uh, he is our King of Kings. Uh, the writer said God has highly anointed him. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, thank you, Lord. Um, listen, chapter 12, uh, verse 12, uh, it said on the next day, thank you, Jesus, that Jesus rolled into uh, Jerusalem. Uh, so what happened the day before uh, Mary came into that room uh, and Mary had a pound of spikenard ointment um, and she anointed uh, the feet of Jesus. Uh, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say thank you Jesus. Uh, I got it this morning uh, and I'm glad about it. Uh, you see so he's anointed um, uh, and he is also uh, appointed of God. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, tell me a scripture that says Jesus was appointed by God. Uh, huh? Thank you, Lord. Um, thank you, Jesus. Uh, tell me a scripture that Jesus said he was anointed by God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, saints, you ought to know these scriptures. Uh, there are many of them that says he was anointed. Uh, behold, the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, hallelujah. There's one thing I know about us saints. Uh, hallelujah. Sometimes we don't spend enough time uh, with God's word uh, to understand what the Lord has done. Uh, this pertains to our salvation. Uh, the reason I have this hope in me uh, is because Jesus, uh, hallelujah, anointed, uh, appointed of God, um, uh, highly exalted uh, by God. Uh, I know why I bow my knees. Uh, I understand uh, who he is in my life. Uh, he is my king. Uh, he is my savior. Uh, life uh, without Jesus. Uh, I don't know about you, uh, but he found me out there in that world. Um, the writer said I was sinking uh, deep in sin, uh, far from a peaceful shore. I was barely stained 
shaking uh, within, uh, shaking to rise no. no more. Uh, don't you know your soul was stained yes. with sin? Yes. Uh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And the only thing uh, that could wash it away, uh, hallelujah, was the blood of Jesus. Yes. Uh, somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. That lamb without spot. Or blemish. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. Come on now, y'all with me? Yeah. I just said Solomon was a type of Christ. Mm -hmm. So you see what David did to Solomon, right? Adonijah, somebody can give me some more to please. Adonijah, he usurped the throne. Yeah. Pay attention. Adonijah, Niger, usurped the throne. David, hallelujah, appointed. King Solomon, yes. king over Israel. But God, he found a man after his own heart. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, that was the Lord Jesus. Uh, and made him king yes. over Israel. Hallelujah. They will never have another king after Jesus. Somebody say amen. amen. He is the eternal king of glory. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, don't you realize one day, hallelujah, when David's king kingdom uh, is established over in Palestine, hallelujah, amen. thank you, Lord. Uh, the day it was established was when Jesus rode in there on that donkey. Uh, but it's going to be hallelujah set up. The throne is in Palestine after the tribulation period. Uh, saints, uh, Jesus is coming back to get the church. Uh, hallelujah. Yes, For we are his bride. Yes. Somebody say amen. Yes. Uh, somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. But what was what happened? Uh, what happened to David's family? Family. Thank you, Lord. Uh, all of you all know these things. Uh, I'm just bringing it back to your remembrance. Uh, the house of Judah had the three last kings of Judah were, hallelujah, Jehoiakim, uh, hallelujah, Jehoiachin, which is Jeconiah, and King Zedekiah, and they were evil. Thank you, Lord. Um, so God brought them down and took them off into captivity by the hand of King Nebuchadnezzar, uh, thank you, Lord. Um, and Zedekiah, God told him because he was so evil uh, that Zedekiah, I'm going to let them kill your sons uh, before your very eyes. And that's just what they did. Uh, then he carried him off, how Nebuchadnezzar did, and put him in captivity down in Babylon. Uh, but Jeconiah, thank you, Lord. Uh, the Lord, hallelujah, while he was in captivity, uh, he allowed... Uh, evil Merodach, who was king at that time of Babylon. He lifted up the head of Jeconiah. Jeconiah had sons uh, while in captivity. Uh, saints, why this is important uh, is because uh, there is a period of time, uh, thank you, Lord, uh, that there was no Israel uh, and there was no house of Judah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, some people call it the Maccabean period, uh, but I'm telling you not so uh, even though the Maccabees did what they did uh, in that period of time uh, but what, what it really was uh, according to the prophet Jeremiah hallelujah desolation was determined upon the house of Israel uh, for their disobedience and transgressions to God uh, they had made promise out of their mouths to Moses uh, they said all that God said we're going to do it uh, they said the same words to hallelujah Joshua but all the while God knew they would not keep his covenants uh, nor his promises uh, God took them in a land uh, that flowed with milk yeah. and honey uh, there were houses there they did not build uh, there were wells in that land uh, they did not dig uh, there were vineyards there uh, they did not plant uh, but the fruit of the land uh, yielded itself to Israel uh, God said, don't be like that heathen uh, that's living in my land. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. For that was God's land. Uh, yeah. And it's God's yeah. land today. Yeah. Somebody right. say amen. Yeah. Uh, hallelujah. 
Yeah. So God yeah. said, if you do, uh, I'm going to root, uproot you uh, out of the land. Uh, if you're wondering why uh, so many uh, that was with us are not with us, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, God does not play around with us, uh, and he don't play with sin. Uh, if you live in sin, uh, you can't serve God. Uh, why? Hallelujah. Jesus came to save us uh, from sin. Uh, he came to seek and save those that were lost. Uh, and we were lost. Uh, and he found us. Uh, and after he found us, uh, he washed us up. Uh, he cleansed us up. Uh, he set us up. Uh, and then he said, live. Uh, hallelujah. For my name. Uh, hallelujah. Yes. Saints of God, uh, the church uh, is the bride of Christ Amen. in the earth today. Uh, and we must live holy uh, and be holy uh, because uh, we represent uh, the Lord of glory. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, so, Jehoiakim, Jeconiah, and Zedekiah in the other Judah's dynasty. But God wasn't done. Brother Peter in the book of Acts, chapter 15. Y'all know where I'm going. Hallelujah. Chapter 15. Brother Peter was at the council with the other brethren. And I want you to see what he said. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Now, James is speaking at verse 13. He said, and after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, Men and brethren, listen or hearken unto me. You see, saints, it's important to listen to the word of God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He says, Simeon how hath declared how God, thank you, Lord, at the first did visit the Gentiles to take out of them a people for his name. Yes. He said, and to this agree the words of the prophet as it is written. Now, he said, after this, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, uh, which is falling down. Uh, he said, and I will build again the ruins thereof. Uh, and he said, and I will set it up uh, that the residue of men might seek after the Lord uh, and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called said the Lord uh, who doeth all these things uh, known unto God are all his works from the beginning of the world somebody say amen, amen. thank you Lord now saints uh, I need you to see where God had put it already in the mouth of the prophet uh, turn to the book of Amos uh, one of those books uh, we hardly ever read uh, but that's alright uh, I'm not being critical. Uh, I'm just speaking uh, of the things that I understand and have seen. Uh, in the Amos, uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, chapter number nine. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Um, listen what the Lord said. Uh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Um, Listen, uh, I'm going to start with verse 9 again. Uh, he said, For lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, uh, like as corn is sifted in a sieve. He said, Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Uh, he said, All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, uh, which say the evil shall not pre overtake nor prevent us. Uh, uh, but verse 11 is the verse I need you to say. See, he said, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David uh, that is fallen uh, and closes up the breaches thereof. Um, and I will raise up his ruins uh, and I will build it as in the days of old. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, you see what the Lord did. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, he, hallelujah, had to build again. Uh, thank you, Lord, the house of David. Uh, God made that promise and that covenant with David. Uh, and God's intention was to keep that covenant. Uh, so when Jesus
Jesus came, I want you to understand, uh, he found himself in Pilate's judgment hall. Uh, do you understand why they killed or crucified Jesus? Uh, why Pilate uh, took him to Calvary's cross? Uh, Pilate was a governor over the Roman, part of the Roman Empire. The Romans uh, crucified Jesus uh, because he was king. Thank you, Lord. Uh, reading in the scriptures, uh, it's right there. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why they crucified him uh, because he said he was king of the Jews. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, the superscription uh, that hung over his cross said Jesus uh, of Nazareth, uh, king uh, of the Jews. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Um, listen, uh, the book ain't done, uh, but I'm not going to be all day. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, y'all don't have clock. Amen, amen. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, so that means I can keep it going. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's right in front of me. Thank you, Lord. Uh, right before my eyes, huh? Thank you, Lord. Uh, just like uh, knowing that Jesus uh, got all these brethren, uh, hallelujah, by Mary and then by David's other wives. Amen. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, some things are right in front of us, saints, uh, but we don't see it. Uh, hallelujah. It takes the Holy Ghost uh, to stir you up on the inside. Uh, it takes, uh, hallelujah, the Lord to move uh, the still water. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, amen. Thank you, Lord. Uh, listen, I need you to see one last thing uh, before I take you uh, and show you what Daniel has seen uh, for us in the last days concerning Christ uh, in the book of Daniel. Thank you, Lord. Uh, let me find it myself. Thank you, Lord. Uh, in the book of Daniel. Thank you, Jesus. No, I'm going to go to, not seven, but I want to go to chapter nine. Thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, this is important for us. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. It is so important for us to see in chapter 9 of the book of Daniel. Thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, Daniel, he was praying and confessing his sins and the sins of Israel. Amen? Amen. 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 And I want you to understand that not only that, but he had been studying uh, the book of Jeremiah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Uh, and by studying the big book of Jeremiah, he came to understand that 70 years of desolations was determined upon Jerusalem. Now I said to you that period, uh, hallelujah, from the time of Judas in into captivity, and hallelujah, the Lord Jesus, or I'm going to put it like this, John the Baptist, uh, hallelujah. It was called the period of desolations, uh, hallelujah. As a matter of fact, um, I believe the writer said this, uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, Thank you, Lord, uh, concerning the last time. Somebody give me that scripture. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord, uh, concerning Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, thank you, Lord, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, the, the, the Lord in the last days. Matthew 24. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, oh, it's going to come. Matthew 24. Thank you, Lord. Uh, no, 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 no. The fullness of times. Give me that scripture. Come on, somebody know it. The fullness of Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Lord. In the fullness of time, God sent forth his son. Yes. All right, all right. That's that's the one I want. Thank you, Jesus. Galatians 4 and 4. Amen. 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 Y'all, y'all gotta be with me this morning. Amen. <laughs> He said, but when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, his son made of a woman. woman, made of the law. The fullness of time was the period of desolations determined upon Israel, you see. And that period had to expire. It had to fill itself before God would send his son. 
And his son is who? Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Made of a woman. Made under the law. To yeah. redeem them that were under the curse of the law. That we might receive the adoption of sons. Of sons. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say thank you Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So Daniel, he said hallelujah concerning the Messiah. Thank you Lord. Back to Daniel chapter 9. Thank you Lord. He said he understood this thing based upon Thank you, Lord. Let me just find it so I'm saying it right. He said, um, All right, I got it. I got it. Y'all with me? See, I'm in chapter 9. He said, uh, He said, While I was speaking, verse 21, he said, In prayer, even the man Gabriel whom I had seen in the vision at the beginning being caused to fly swiftly. He said, he touched me about the time of the evening oblation. He said, and he informed me and I talked with, and talked with me and said, oh Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, what did Brother Peter say? He said, no prophecy of scripture is given by private interpretation. Uh, you see, we don't just understand what God is doing. We need the Holy Ghost or God's angels to bring word and knowledge to our hearts. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, we can study, hallelujah, and we must study to show ourselves approved under God. Workmen that needed not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. We must do those things, uh, but I want you to see how Daniel got this understanding. Uh, he said, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding. Uh, he said, at the beginning of thy supplications, uh, the commandment came forth. Uh, Daniel was on his knees, uh, not only praying, but tears were rolling out of his eyes. Uh, hallelujah. He was supplicating unto the Lord. Um, he said, the commandment came forth, and I am come to show thee, uh, for thou art greatly beloved. Um, therefore, understand the matter and consider the vision. Uh, he said, 70 weeks are determined upon thy people, um, upon the holy cities, city, to finish the transgression, um, to make an end of sins, uh, and to make reconciliation for iniquity, um, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, um, to seal up the vision and prophecy, uh, and to anoint who? The most holy. The most holy. Somebody say hallelujah. hallelujah. Jesus. Uh, he's talking about Jesus. Uh, the king of kings and lord of yes. lords. Um, hallelujah. And then he went on to give, give a further understanding. And he said, know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to, to restore and build Jerusalem unto Messiah, the prince shall be seven weeks um, and three score and two weeks uh, the street shall be built again and the wall even in troublous times um, hallelujah now where did the commandment come to build uh, Jerusalem up again uh, because you know it was destroyed uh, thank you Lord uh, it came to King Cyrus because uh, God saw him uh, and called him his servant uh, and that was when the moment started the clock started and ticked its way down uh, to Jesus Hallelujah. So we knew God had already told us when Jesus was coming on the scene. Uh, there was no guess about the thing uh, or the matter uh, because God, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, uh, he had appointed a day he was going to judge this world. Uh, yeah, yeah. God has everything set up uh, already. Uh, don't you realize uh, it only took God six days to build this world. Uh, somebody say amen. Uh, or create the world. Uh, and the writer said on the seventh day he rested. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. means everything. Uh, yeah. Hallelujah. And the plan and the mind of God came forth in six days. Uh, somebody say God uh, is an awesome God. Uh, yeah. I say yes. 
Yes, she is. Uh, hallelujah. Six days, uh, I can hardly, hallelujah, get anything done. Thank you, Lord, in that final time. Uh, but the Lord can do it. Uh, somebody say, yes, he can. Yes, he can. Is he your God? Uh, is Jesus yes. your Savior? Uh, do you love him? Uh, yes. uh, hallelujah. The writer said, I love uh, the risen Savior. Uh, he's in uh, the world today. today. Yes. Now somebody's singing their mind. That don't say that, Elder. They say, I know. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. I know I love you. Somebody say, amen. Yes. Don't you love Jesus? Yes. surety. If God ever gave a man a guarantee, the Holy Ghost was in. Right, right, right. Amen. Somebody say amen. amen. If he ever gave a guarantee, right. the Holy Ghost was in. Right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. How do I know that? David said, hallelujah. Acts. Thank you, Lord. Acts, saints. Acts. And you put this down in your soul. You put this in your soul. Because not only does it apply to King David, it applies to all of us. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. In Acts chapter 2, he said, For David speaking concerning him, talking about Jesus, he said, for I foresaw the Lord always before my face. He said, for he is on my right hand that I should not be moved. moved. Thank you, Lord. We sing that song, we shall not, shall not yes. be moved. Saints, Keep standing for yes. Jesus. Yes. Don't let nothing or nobody move you yes. or turn you around. Amen. Listen, he says, therefore did my heart rejoice. Yes. Oh, glory. Jesus. Oh, glory. Rejoice. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And my tongue was glad. Was glad. Went home and say, because thou will not leave my soul where? In no. hell. In hell. Yes. Thank the Lord. Say it, saints. Thou, thou will, will not leave my soul in hell. Thank you, Jesus. Hell was not made for me. Yes. It was not made for us. Right. It was made for the devil and his angels. Yes. But he went on to say, hell has enlarged itself. His Lord hammers. Okay. Not God's fault. Man's fault. The devil's fault. And you think the devil still ain't busy? That fellow's on his job. I don't like talking about him. But some people, if you don't talk about him and tell him he's there, they can walk right into him. Thank you, Jesus. And never see him. Thank you, Jesus. He's real. It's true. We know him was an angel. Is that right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. Wanted to take over God in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Wanted to set his throne above the Lord uh, in the sides of the north. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, that beautiful chair, highly anointed, called the son of the morning. He has some wonderful titles. Uh, thank you, Lord. But the Lord said, I'm going to bring him down to hell. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, and when they said, he said, I just said,
said when they look at one, they're going to say, is that the man that caused us all this trouble? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Listen, because thou will not leave my soul in hell, and neither will thou suffer thy holy one to see, to see corruption. Now, this is the beauty. No more my soul ain't staying down there. He said, thou hast made known to me the ways of life. life. Thou shalt make me oh. full of joy with thy continent. continence. So, Brother Peter said, men and brethren, to you, those of you listening to his word, that's Peter's first sermon, amen? Amen. Amen. It was on the day of Pentecost. That was the most important day it was for the church. Because that's the day the church was born. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. And you must be baptized in Jesus' name and filled with the Holy Ghost in order to be saved, huh? In order to be born again. Otherwise, you cannot see nor enter into the kingdom of heaven. Is that true? Amen. Many people talk about heaven but ain't born there right. because they won't do what the Lord said do. Is that right? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And they won't obey the pastor. They won't do the things that they're, we're instructed to do. Now, hallelujah. Jesus learned obedience by the things that, that he suffered. suffered. Hallelujah. Amen. He obeyed God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He did nothing of himself. But that which he saw and heard of his father. Mm -hmm. So every action he took, every step he made, it was at the direction of God. Thank you, Lord. And God had highly anointed him with the Holy Ghost. We all know that, right? Amen. Amen. For he had the Spirit of God not by measure. measure, but the seven spirits of God was upon him. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We all get the Holy Ghost. And that's enough power to keep you safe. Mm -hmm. Enough power to raise your soul up out of hell when the Lord called. It's enough power, thank you, Lord, to do right, to walk right, to talk right. I think of the Holy Ghost this way for me. He's the do right spirit. Somebody say amen. amen. When I need to do right, I trust the spirit that leadeth me and guides me into all truth. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. I trust him. Yes. And he will not fail. For he is the seed of God. And in whom the seed remain, he committed. Yes. Don't see it. Yes. Somebody say hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We're trying to live as it. The deacon was teaching in this world free from sin. And he set us free. Amen. Amen. Whom the Son set free. is free indeed. He is free indeed. So if you're feeling bound this time, you can be free. Yeah. Tell your neighbors, listen, all that trouble and all that carrying on, you can be free from that. You don't have to go and live like that. The Lord made a way. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Saints, don't you feel blessed just knowing some of these things that God said? Amen. So the next time I say, somebody say, what huh, do you think about Jesus? Turn it around. Turn it around. And say to yourself, what Amen. do you know Amen. about Jesus? God bless you all. Hallelujah. Amen. And all that he said today, we just have to say amen. 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 
Praise the Lord because he certainly, amen, preach from the Bible. Praise the Lord. He gave us nothing but the Bible and nothing but the scriptures. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, we have heard those things, amen, from the past and we're still hearing them. But it's good to be reminded, amen, that we all are still holding on, amen, to that which we have been taught. Praise the Lord. Buffalo, amen, is teaching the same thing, the word of God. Amen. And the word of God is being taught all over the world. Yes. Amen. So we're grateful today. We thank God for the message. Praise the Lord. I, I love that part that he said, amen, concerning the Holy Ghost. He's that do right spirit. Yes. Praise the Lord. He certainly, amen. If you allow him, amen, to lead you and guide you into all truth, amen, he always will be that do right spirit. And I'm telling you, you got to have it. Amen. If you expect to go back with Jesus, amen, you must have that Holy Ghost. Yes. Praise the Lord because he is our inheritance. Amen. And God has given us that spirit and today we are being sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. Amen. So don't lose your down payment. Praise the Lord. The Holy Ghost is given to us as a down payment. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. So once you put a down payment down, amen, you're planning on moving in. Amen. Praise the Lord. But don't amen. give up on your down payment. Yes, yes, Praise the Lord. Yes. Because when Jesus comes, amen, you want to go back with him. Amen. And you got to have the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. So don't break the seal. Amen. Continue to stay still with the Holy Spirit yes. of promise. How many love the Lord today? Amen. 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 We thank God for the word. Amen. We thank God for Elder bringing forth God's word under the function of the Holy Ghost. Because as Paul said, we preach this gospel with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven. Anybody want to be saved? Amen. Today, amen, is the day of salvation. Amen. Today is that day, the day that you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Anyone want to be saved, you can come. Amen. If not, God bless you. Amen. Heaven smile upon you. Amen. Again, we thank God for Buffalo. Amen. Amen. Being with us. Amen. Thank God for heaven.